Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Pittman with the Maryland Army National Guard uh, Recruiting Battalion. Um, my purpose here today was just to come out to support uh, the Aerospace uh, Aviation Summit, um, just showing the different support, the different um, assets that we can bring as Maryland Army National Guard um, when it comes to education, career, um, that's what we're all about. Good morning, I'm Chief Port Elf, U.S. Coast Guard. I'm a Chief Electrician's mate. We're here at the STEM conference today. And so how do we use STEM in the Coast Guard? So our job every day is to help save lives all around the country. We can't do anything without STEM. The helicopters don't fly, the boats don't leave the pier. So we need people that have an interest in that field to design new ships, new aircraft, to make repairs of stuff we already have so we are able to go out every day and do our mission. Um, it's a great field. I'm an electrician. I use it every day, repairing generators, fixing any kind of equipment on any vessel. It's, uh, it's a rewarding career. And I'm with the left. They should be the fifth grade right now. I'm hating a fleet. And we support EMR. They the main universe and research lines that um, research into the effects of ionized radiation on the theory. They also support our Asian media and our workforce development program, which is to help build the stronger pipeline of skilled professionals. And we're here today to support the pace senior land challenge that we have partnered with through Ball High for the and the pace for our legend north of you know, the weather room. Yeah, and uh, good morning, and uh, my name is Doug Wall. Uh, I'm the Associate Vice President of Research uh, at Penn State. And today we're uh, participating in uh, the interaction of ionizing radiation with Matter University Research Alliance uh, drilling uh, uh, talent, which is part of the uh, Sea Air Land Club that we have, which really engages uh, students uh, in middle school, high school, uh, all the way up through uh, uh, undergrad and education in order to get them interested in the STEM field. So I'm Johnny Martin. I'm a uh, retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, so I have some background in aviation. Uh, when I worked for Booz Allen, uh, Thurman came to me and asked if I would help him to set up a flight competition, a flight uh, simulation competition. And being an avid uh, Falcon 4 uh, flight simulator uh, flyer, I said, yeah, and I'll use that program to help use to, to implement the program. So. We gathered up some equipment, some laptops, uh, some uh, controllers, and using that uh, Falcon 4 software, we uh, were able to put together a competition with uh, uh, one of the uh, training uh, flights that's in the, in the simulation program, and uh, set it up to, so that two students could fly against each other. And uh, usually if they take off, fly around in a landing, and the judges will judge how well they perform those three tasks. Hello, I'm Sergeant Herbert. I am in the U.S. Army. I am here representing representing DITRA. I work for DITRA, Defense Threat Reduction Agency, where we prevent, prevail, and deter. It is a joint environment located at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. Um, it has military of all branches, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine. We also work with DOD civilians, contractors, internships, um, I've been in the military for five years, and I'm here today to inspire the young children who are in middle school, high school, to think about their future, to start thinking about what they want to be in life. Um, the company that I work for, DITRA, they offer a lot of scholarships, a lot of loans, um, grant money for students who have um, interest in certain career fields. I did. 
Freedom Station was pretty organized. They definitely described the career training and things behind it. Even That's the presentation, right. Because right. some of it, once they read their portion and they yeah. read, it was they were done. Yeah, that's um, right. Yeah. And, and it kind but of that, out. the elaborate, the elaboration by the, the their lead, I 